Okay, I'm going to teach you how to create tables in Revit. So first, you're going to want to go up here to File, and then New, and then Family. And then you're going to pick whichever system um, goes with you well. For me, it's going to be English Imperial. And then once you get into your system, you're going to find Furniture because that's what a table is. It's furniture. So now that we're in the furniture, you're going to go to Extrusion up here. And then I'm going to start uh, this first table. It's just going to be a basic round table with a round base. So because it's round base, right now we're in the reference level tab and what that means is you're in the floor plan view tab as you can see in the project browser under the floor plan section it says reference level now the front tab is obviously the front view of your table view one is a 3d view and then right is the right side view and you can also toggle to the left as well but starting off in the reference level the floor plan view since I'm doing a round table with a round base, I'm going to go to the circle and you can draw a circle. You can make the table base however big you want. Um, I'm going to just do 11 inches and then I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to click the check mark because I'm done. So right now it doesn't look like a table base. So I'm going to go to the front view. And as you can see, Revit has automatically made my table base um, one foot tall, but I obviously want it to be taller, so I'm going to just scoot it up some more. And you can measure and see how tall it is by clicking on your keyboard. It's important to know the shortcuts in Revit, especially if you're going to be using it a lot like I do. Um, if you don't want another shortcut, you can just go to the annotate tab and click aligned. But as you can see, the shortcut for align is DI. So that's what I'm going to click on my keyboard. And I'm going to tap this one. I'm going to tap the bottom one first and then the top one. And as you can see, it says that my table is 1 foot 11, 1532 of an inch. I want that to be a little taller. So I'm going to go ahead and make this two feet tall. And you can just drag it up and try to match the two feet. But what I'm going to do is draw a detail line and just align it with that detail line. So I'm going to click type LI on my keyboard. That's the shortcut for detail line. And I'm going to type in two feet. And I'm going to hit escape twice. And then I'm going to type on my keyboard AL because that is the shortcut for align. And that's what that tool looks like up here. And I'm going to first, when you align something, you want to click on the item that you don't want to move first. And so I don't want this line to move. And I want it to align with the top of this line. So I'm going to hit tab so it can highlight the top which is that blue dot, and I'm going to click that. And then the second thing you want to click is what you do want to move, which I want to move this line, so I'm going to click that. And now they're both aligned. So to get out of the align tool, I'm going to hit escape twice. And as you can see, my dimension has automatically moved to two feet. So I don't need this anymore, but for reference, you can keep it if you want. It's not going to show up in the real thing, but I'm going to keep it. But I am going to go ahead and delete this detail line here because I don't need it anymore so I'm going to hit delete and now that I have my table base I first want to go into the 3D view to check how it's looking and so you can go to you can change the view the graphics so right now it's in wireframe that means you can see every element of your table but I'm going to go to hidden line so it can hide that so this is the exact outside of the table so back to my reference view, which is my floor plan view. Now it's time to create the table top. So I'm going to go again to create tab, which is up here. I'm going to go to extrusion. And I want this to be a round table top as well. So I'm going to go to the circle again. 
And I want to start in the middle because you want it to be centered. These dash lines are reference lines. So they're not going to show up in your actual model. But when you're creating the model, they're going to show up for reference. So if these reference lines weren't here, I would have a hard time finding where the center, exact center of this table base is. So you generally want a tabletop to be larger than the base when in a round table, but you can make it whatever size you want. So I'm gonna make mine one foot seven inches for radius. And then I'm gonna hit escape and boom, there's my tabletop. So now I'm gonna hit the check mark up here saying you're done creating this extrusion. And now you aren't just done. You wanna go to the front view because as you can see, Revit, when you create extrusion in my Revit, it automatically um sets it as a certain depth, which is one foot. This is Revit 2023. I'm not sure if it does that for all versions of Revit from my desk, so you'll need to fix that. So obviously pull this up. This is the tabletop. This is the base. So you just want to pull these nodes up. And now that's too thick. So you just want to pull it down. I'm not really going to be specific on how thick my tabletop is, but that looks about fine. But you can always type in DI on your keyboard for the align dimension tool and you can measure. So right now it's about one inch thick. I'm fine with it. I'm not going to use this. This is just a model to show you how to make a table. So now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go to my 3D view. And so this is the view of the table. And when you go to the right view, it shows right elevation of the table. And you can do the same thing with the left over here. So now what I want to do is I want to add a material to the table. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You click the element, the extrusion that you made. So click in the tabletop. And scroll down under properties. This is the properties tab. It says it right here at the top. Where it says materials and by category, you're going to click the three dots in the side of it and it's going to load the materials library for Revit. I'm just going to click a choose a material that Revit already has and here it is right here. So you want to click this arrow so you can load it and under the graphics tab you want to click use render appearance. And so now when you click like a realistic view or you render it, it'll actually, when you click realistic view, it'll probably just do the color. But when you actually render it, it'll actually look like the picture in mahogany. So you want to click apply first and then OK. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Go to the properties tab. Click the three dots for the material section. And I want to choose a different type of wood just so there can be a visual difference. I'm just going to choose a random material. If you want to know how to create your own material in Revit, I have a video up on that. It will be linked so you can see how you can create your own material if you don't want to use one that Revit already has. So I'm going to choose this walnut wood that they have and I'm going to click apply and OK. And now when you change the visibility, the graphic display to realistic, it'll look like that. Just a regular round table. So now if you're going to use this table, you want to go ahead and load it into your project and close. And you can save, you can name it what you need to name it. And then you can click save. And then it's just going to load it into your project. And it's going to have you place it in a floor plan view. 
So you can just place it and boom. Now I'm going to show you how to create a square table with square legs. So go to new, family. I'm going to click English Imperial and furniture. So once again, I'm going to go to extrusion. This is a square table, so I'm going to click the rectangle tool for easier drawing. You can do the line tool. It'll just do the same thing. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. My tabletop is going to be 4 foot 10 inches by 2 foot 1 inch. And once I make that, I'm going to click escape twice and I'm going to click the green check mark. I'm going to go to the front view. And obviously right now it's on the ground, which I don't want. So I'm going to move it up some. I'm not really going for specific measurements. So boom, that is my tabletop. Now to create my legs for the table, I'm going to go to create extrusion again. And I'm going to create them all in the same extrusion for easy applying materials. My legs are going to be two by two. And instead of recreating it, I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to click the copy. Or you can type CO on your keyboard. And I'm just going to copy these legs to all four corners of this table. Now, obviously, if you're going for specific placement or measurements, you're going to want to, you know, maybe do some more reference lines, some detail lines to help with that. But I'm not going for specifics. So now I'm going to click the check mark. Check my front view, and that's obviously too short, so bring it up to snaps to the table. And now in the 3D view, you have a table. It's obviously in hidden line, I mean in wireframe, but when you change the hidden line, you see the full form of the table. And you can add materials if you want. I'm not going to at the moment, so I'm just going to click load into project. I'm going to save this as square table, even though it's a rectangle. doesn't really matter at this moment. And it's going to load into project, and I'm just going to place it there. And now, if you click this 3D house, you have your two tables that you just created. Very, very simple when you get the hang of it. Hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. God bless.